Hi, and welcome to Bits of Blender. I'm here with my boy Richard. Hello. Today we're going to do a quick tip on the explode modifier. <laughs> so pop open Blender. And we're at our default scene, so I'm just going to look through the camera. And well, the first thing you might do if you're looking at explode is you see under modifiers, sure enough, there is explode. But if you do an all day, you'll see nothing happens. It's not the most interesting thing yet. <laughs> <laughs> so what you need to do to make something explode in Blender is a couple things. First, apply the modifier. Then we go over to particles. We'll add a new particle system. <laughs> and then in the particle system, we can set the uh, amount. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna lower that. We'll set when it starts, when it ends, and the lifetime of the particles. I'm actually going to set the end to the same as the beginning. It's a more dramatic effect because it explodes all in one frame instead of over across a couple frames. If you wanted it across a couple frames or a slow motion, you could bump that up a bit. And then I'm going to set the initial velocity of the particles. And I'm going to use normal because that's what, what's normal. Normal to a surface is yeah. perpendicular to that surface. Yeah, like a right angle. Yeah. So I'm going to start it, give it, you know, a speed. I'll throw it like 10. And then I'm going to randomize the speed a little bit. You can play with those values, you know. So that way they, they, they're not all moving at exactly the same speed. In visualization, I'm just going to say that's none, but I am going to render the thing that's emitting the particles. And for children, I'm going to set it to none. So now, if we run it, you see nothing happens. That's because the order of the modifiers is important in this case. We ex did explode, then particle. What we want is the other way around. So we do an all day again. Boom! Oh, that looks cool. That looks pretty cool. We could say also to uh, uh, split the edges. Watch that. Ooh. And see, it broke it up a little bit differently. And then we can also say uh, things like any particles that aren't born yet, don't show them. And any particles that are dead, don't show them. So what happens is, if we go back to our particles, we could see the lifetime is 50, right? Mm -hmm. So watch the, uh, the little cursor as it's showing the frames go off. Boom. And then they disappear after 50. Mm -hmm. Now, if we want to break it up a bit more, we can add another modifier, let's say subsurface. <laughs> and I'm going to move that up all the way up. I'll go ahead and click those on just because I like them on. And I'll set smooth. Whoa! And that's the explosion modifier in Blender. Pretty cool. We'll see you next time. Bye!